Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use my elevator teleport system. Uh, just like, you know, Tower Defense Simulator, how they have that cool teleporter thing that teleports them to the game. And then you do the Tower Defense stuff, and stuff. yep, and yep. I've uh, tried to record this video about four times now, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Redoing everything for the fourth time because... Forgot to record, record audio. Um, life's great. Um, but yeah, all right. So this elevator is pretty cool. Yeah. Once you once you can get the model from the description, and yeah, it will then tell you what to do with all these uh, things. It'll like tell you what to put in and stuff. I'm not explaining that again because I've done it four times now. Um, but yeah. So, right, I'll explain you how to make another elevator though. So, if you, want, if you want to add another elevator, you're just going to want to grab one of these elevator models, copy it, and then just drag it wherever you want it. And bang, you've made another elevator. That simple. No. Right. And then you go to value inside of it. There's a value inside of it. You change this to whatever you want it. Seven. I'm going to make it, no. I'm going to make it eight. Let's so make it eight. So it's now going to hold eight players in the elevator. This one holds six. This one holds four. And this one holds two. Right. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, uh, what else? Um, all right. Once you've changed that, you want to go into elevator TP parts up here. This little part. Copy that. Move that over here. We name that to eight. This is where it's going to TP you. So you want to rename it to eight because this value inside of it is eight. So you want to make sure you rename that to eight. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to find that TP part and it's going to break the whole script. Um, but yeah. So now we've got four elevators one containing two players, four players, six players, and eight players. Pretty nice. All right. You won't need to mess with these events, neither the starter UI. UI. Um, but over here, this is where all the scripts happen. This module script, it will look like something like this. And you'll be like, where do I get these IDs? Well, fear not. Go to Chrome. Go to whoever made the game. Open the game up. Places. There you go, now you can see the places. And now I've got these two places over here. I'm going to open this one up. Up here, you see this ID? Control-C, copied. And now I'm going to move this and put this right here. Now it's going to teleport them to this ID. So that place. Now I'll go back. And I get the other one up here. Control-C and then Control-V down here. Change the name of the map. Very cool map. There we go. Change this to... Corner Games is the best dev group. <laughs> True. Right. And then you got the size. This one's a small. This one's a medium. And this one's an easy. And this one's a normal. The creator of the map. You can change this. Me. The pasta guy. Pasta guy. Image. Change this to the image of the map, I guess. Sadly, I didn't add a feature where you can just turn that off, but uh, deal with it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah. I say it looks better with the images anyway, so that's what I'm going to say. Right. Well, why haven't I showed? Okay. Um, the script. Pretty big script. 370 lines with the comments. I added comments. I totally didn't just put it in AI, made the. Hey, I do all the comments for me because I'm too lazy to do comments. But there you go. Now you can read this and understand what the script does. But there's these two things I want to show you. The minimum time. If I change this to like 10 and then, then I go into the game, I click run. It's now going to, the, the smallest time is 10 seconds. I'm getting, oh my God, I'm getting DM bear. Hold on. Mute. Right. Okay. What I was saying was, now it's 10 seconds 10 seconds 
15 seconds, 35 seconds. Yeah, the math is weird. I, I don't know what I've done, but I was trying to make it so if there's if there's a play count of like two, then this will become like the smallest one. And then if it's play count of like six or four, it will get a bit bigger. And like this, eight players are 35 seconds. And yeah, so that's why it's called minimum time. I'm getting notifications like crazy. All right, let me change this back to, it was 20 or 25. I, I can't remember, but I'm going to put it as 20. Okay, so also, if you don't want this to be the minimum time, then you just copy this. Scroll down to, I think it's the initialize elevators function. And then you see this, calculate the initial time for elevator based on the maximum number of players. Just delete this nonsense. And there you go. Now it's just going to be that minimum time value. So every single elevator now is going to be 25 seconds. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Never mind, it's going to be 20 seconds because I'm dumb and I can't breathe. Yep, 20 seconds. 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, also cool thing, these are going to refresh. You see this? We just got to wait a little bit. Oh, it's going to take a bit, isn't it? Come on. Come on. There we go. You see this? This one refreshed. Pretty cool. Very cool. Alright. <sighs> Map refresh rate. If I change this to 2, it's going to refresh like crazy. Let's have a look. All right, am I recording audio? Yes, I am. Good. Okay, look. Look at that. They're changing. Whoa, that's so cool. Okay, nice. Um, there you go. Changing. These things down here also change. Just a map corner. Is corner games is the best group. Very true. Look at that gunner at the player count, difficulty, and the size of the map, and the time as well. It's a pretty cool little elevator. Right, what else is there to show? Oh yes, I, I can't remember. Right, if, if I've forgotten anything and you guys need help, then DM me on Discord through the my Discord server, or leave a comment on the YouTube video. Um, right, there's also another thing actually, I just remembered. See this attempt? Wait, attempts. I'm going to change this to like three. And now it's only going to try and teleport me three times before just stopping and giving up. I'll change that back to four, actually. Right. Let's test this out now. I'm going to change the refresh rate and make this a bit smaller as well because I can't be asked to wait that long. All right, I'm going to click play now. Right, look at that, the elevators, they're all showing up nicely. I go in one of them, it's going to start counting down, and it's not going to refresh this elevator. But it's going to refresh these ones, as you can see. Because I'm in it, it's not going to refresh. Then I leave, look at that. Pretty cool, right? Let's get another one, let's get in this one. Now this one's going to refresh again, because I'm out of the elevator. See, there we go. And now I just have to stay in this one. Um... See, it's not going to teleport me because I'm in studio. Look at that. It's going to try four times and then it's going to kill me and kick me out of the elevator. Just like that. And I can go back into the elevator if I want. Yep. Got this cool little board thing. Very nice. Leave. Um, let's go with this. Right, there's one other thing. I go to this home tab and I go game settings. I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but enable studio access and allow third party teleports. This needs to be turned on unless it's not going to teleport you. Um, permissions. When you want to test, um, it's not going to, um, you have to have it on public to be able to get teleported. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah. And then you want to go to monetization and turn on private servers. Or else it's not going to teleport you. 
but that should be it the model is in the description i'm debating whether i should change the models to like five robux because i'm not making any profit from this at all um i've made a bunch of these and it's got a bunch of sales on all my models and i don't know i'm just i don't know i need funds to fund my games so i'm debating whether i should make them like five robux but i i don't know all right well the model is free for now so you better you, you better get it fast yes please so i get some sort of credit i guess um yeah models in the description yeah have fun i'm gonna go to bed now